Solana here and in today's video I'm going to show you all how to create your very own cherry blossom nail art look and it's perfect for the spring and the summer so carry on watching if you'd like to learn how to do it yourself. See you all soon! So to create this nail art design you will need the following things a base coat and a top coat. I was lucky enough to find this 2-in-1 base coat and top coat by Barry M. You'll also need an opaque mint green colour nail polish. This one reminds me of Tiffany's jewellery, it's a really nice shade of green. I'll list the nail varnishes that I use in the description in case you're curious, but you can use any brands that you like. You'll also need an opaque darker colour, an opaque light pink nail varnish and an opaque darker pink colour like magenta. Also, if you would like your nails to have a sparkly shimmer, you can use a clear sparkly nail varnish. This is optional though, it still looks really pretty without a step. And last of all for our tools, we will need a nail art brush. I picked this long and thin brush so that I could paint more precisely. You will also need a nail art dotting tool. Okay, now we're ready to begin. To have a nice surface to work on, it's a good idea to apply a base coat first. After the base coat is dried, apply your opaque mint green nail varnish. I applied two coats to make the nail varnish really smooth and extra opaque. Now let's grab our darker nail varnish and apply it with our nail art brush. Okay, so now we need to paint the tree and the branches on our nail. For my first nail, I painted a wavy line starting off at the bottom right hand side of my nail and then I just added a few branches to this line. I painted the tree differently on each nail so don't worry if your tree shape looks different or if you start at a different side, it will all work out fine. And so when you finish this stage, your nails should look a little something like this. Now for our next stage, we need to grab our opaque light pink nail polish and create our flower petals. I did this by creating a circle of five blobs with the dotting tool. the final touch of our little design and it's nice to just add a little blob of magenta into each of the flowers that we just created and it just gives the flower a bit more detail. And of course you can add a little bit of sparkle if you like and then a top coat is great to finish it off. But thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed creating this nail art look. Oh, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you do try this nail art look yourself, please do tag me on Twitter or Instagram because I'd love to see it. Also, if you haven't already, please do subscribe because I'd love to see you again and I bring out new videos every week. So I'll see you all next week. Bye!